Hi everyone, it's Frank Garcia here at scrapbook.com with our Prima project that we're completing. So we are in our next step. In the last step, we went ahead and prepared our base. So we went ahead and put our paper down. We went ahead and stenciled a little bit. We went ahead and used a little bit of texture paste. Now in this step, we're gonna go ahead and prepare our assemblage part. So we're gonna take our shells. We're gonna take a little bit of gesso, a little bit of art stones, a little bit of melange pebbles, and we're gonna put it all together to create a really nice base for us to be able to kind of add paints and stuff later on in the project. So I'm gonna guide you through that right now. So we're gonna start right here at the bottom. This is the part where we kind of have our space for that piece. Now I like to collect shells everywhere I go. So I have a lot of different shells here for me to use. Now you can definitely use shells if you're trying to do a beach project, but if you wanted to do something more fall theme, you can you know, maybe use some pine cones or use something that's natural like this, or you can even use just flowers or embellishments that you have. So now we're gonna go ahead and start placing these down here. And I wanna kind of put them in a way to where I can stack them. So what I mean by that is I'm gonna start by just placing them down, kind of getting an idea of where I want them. Okay, now because we do have a lot of room, I'm gonna just try to space them out as best as I can. So once we kind of figure out where we want our shells, I'm gonna start by adding a little bit of glue. I'm gonna use this crafter's pick glue. And then you wanna make sure that when you use this, it's nice and puddled in there. So you wanna kind of get this in there, make sure that you have a lot of glue so that it kind of holds in place. Now I like this glue because it's kind of thick. So you can see once you kind of put it on there, it'll hold nicely. So I'm gonna just go ahead and start a couple. So I'm gonna add some on the edges. I'm gonna take this here, take my next shell. And you wanna kind of pick the parts of the shell that are kind of flat so that you can add the glue on there. So I'm gonna take that and put it there. Take my next one and just glue it in there, making sure that they're nice and even. Now, as this starts to dry, it'll kind of hold in place. And our smaller shells, we can just start to stack up. So these shells here, I'm gonna take a little bit of that and I'm gonna just put it in between my, sh my shells here. So you can see, we're gonna start to build up on top of these shells. You kinda wanna kinda create an assemblage per se. So I'm gonna add a little bit more of this, just kinda stack it on there like this. And they're all gonna be facing the same direction. So as you're gluing down, you wanna make sure that they're facing the same direction. So it doesn't look like you just kind of threw them on there, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna take a couple more of these. I'm gonna start right here. And I'm gonna continue adding all these shells and gluing them on. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like in a second. So I went ahead and finished putting all of my shells here. You can see I kind of assembled them kind of facing the same direction. So I'm gonna let that kind of sit down here for a second. And um, while that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and take other embellishments that I can add into my piece that I can add accents to. Now, of course, we have um, these little melange art pebbles. These are really cool because you can color them any color you want and they're clear. So they kind of look a little bit like this. And I'm gonna take a little bit of glue and I'm just gonna add these onto my project. And when you add these, you'll notice that they're clear. So they really can go anywhere you like. So you'll notice that they look kind of like little bubbles. So it's perfect for this kind of beach theme. I'm gonna add a couple on the shells, which makes it look really neat. Something on the outside, a couple of them there, but I like adding them mostly on the shells because it makes it look like little bubbles, which is really cute. And they come in different sizes. So when you open the package, you'll see that there'll be little bitty ones and then there's gonna be some medium sized ones. So you could pick your favorites, add them wherever you like. And once we let them dry, we can go ahead and paint them and which is a cool part about this type of product. You can definitely use it for a lot of different things and kind of get a different look every time. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take these little metal stars next. Now these stars look like this. They come in different sizes. You can see there's different colors. Now the colors don't really matter because we're gonna paint over these in a second. So you can use any color that you like. Now these are gonna be the same way as our little bubbles here. We're gonna just add them kind of randomly just to kind of give it a little bit of a cool look. And these kind of remind me of starfish for this project because you can kind of make them look a little bit like starfish. I'm gonna take some of the medium sized ones and add them to the shells. So I'm gonna take a, like for example, this one, kind of tuck it in here 
and glue it down there on the shell. Now, once we have that in place, I'm gonna go ahead and take my gloss gel, okay? And I'm gonna add a little bit of these mega art stones. So now these are just a really light kind of pebble looking medium. Um, this, this here can go on anything and you can color it with anything you like. It is a little bit messy. You kind of have to have it somewhere where you can collect them after. So I'm gonna take some brushes. I'm gonna take my brush here and I'm gonna just take a little bit of this and I'm gonna start applying it here in between the shells. And you can apply as little or as much as you want of this. Now, gloss gel is a really great medium for this because it could be used as an adhesive. So once you kind of put it down, you can go ahead and take your art stones and just kind of prop them in there. Now you'll see that they're kind of going to go everywhere and that's okay because later on we're going to just collect them, um, the excess. So I'm going to take a little bit more here. And this will just add a really nice texture to your project. It's just for texture. And what I like about these is they're so lightweight that you can color them, you can paint them, you can spray them, whatever you want. And they'll take on that color really nicely. And it just reminds me of the beach, I don't know why. Just kind of has that natural look. I'm gonna go in here in between my shells and add a little bit of this gloss gel. And I'm gonna carefully just kind of add a little bit of this in there. So I'm gonna let this kind of dry a little bit and then once we dry this, we're gonna go ahead and come back and work with Jesso. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more from scrapbook.com, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a message. Happiness is life handmade.